Goeiemorgen, good morning, welcome to our online church service, welkom hier so by ons online kerk dienst, dinsdagochtend, saam met my Stanley en my vrou. Karin, goeiemorgen, hoe is die heren, eers baie, baie welkom vroeg. <laughs> en Afrikaans en in Engels. To yes. so all our English speaking brothers and sisters and friends, you are most welcome. It's Tuesday's morning uh, meeting that we are having half past five. <laughs> or some people will say half six. <laughs> Afrikaans says was half six. So, hartelijk welkom, goeie moore. Um, ons, soos wat ons inskakel, gees altyd allemaal geleendheid om bykie levendig in te kan inskakel. En so, um, die boodskap ook dit deel daar na jou tydlijn toe. So, if you are tuning in live, share the message there to your timeline. We are busy um, sharing the message to our timeline. And so everybody can see and hear the message of the gospel yes. of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. The good yes. news, yeah. the good news gospel. Oh, that yeah. is the most important thing in our life is to uh, understand and adhere and walk according to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. But that is the good news. The bad news is also is nearly viral. The bad news is Ons is in hierdie wereld, ons het ons moeilijkheid en probleme. But the good news is, if you serve the Lord Jesus Christ, then at the end of your life, you will be delivered from all the misery that we encounter in this world. <laughs> yes, Isn't that wow, powerful? Yeah. But if you are born again, you are not in the kingdom of darkness anymore spiritually. You are in the kingdom of light. And the kingdom of light, the Bible says so, so uh, clearly that Jesus Christ came as a light into this world. Amen. But those that don't want the works to be revealed, they love the darkness rather than the light. That is now so a kokkerot, ne? Hy hou daarvan om in die donker te beweeg. En die oomlik as die licht aangaan, woeps, all hy weg. We must not be like that. We must love the light. Amen. We so must. Yes. Our yes. works must be revealed that they are done in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is most important. That is my belangrijk vandag om te weet dat ons naar die licht toe moet gaan. Ons met die licht lief he. Ons moet ons hart openbaar maak. Amen. Ons moet het bekend maak so dat ons kan loskom van die werke van die duivel. Is dit nie amazing nie? Prijs die Heere. Now this morning we want to talk to you about this. How can we become children of light? Jesus Christ says in one instance, they say we must become sons of the light. Jesus Christ is the light that came into the world. He did everything according to the will of His Father. Yes. And therefore if we believe through Him, in God our Father, and then we will receive the light as well. Ja, hy het net die wil van sy Vader gedoen, en as ons die wil van die Vader doen, soos Jesus Christus, sal ons ook die licht wees, en sal ons die licht ontvang, en sal ons ons werke kan openbaar maak, in die licht, yes. so dat ons verlos kan kom, so dat ons vry kan kom, en wanneer jy nie jou werke aan die licht bring nie, kan jy nie verlos word nie, jy kan nie vry kom nie, En wat, dit is ook om ons baie keer ons leven wil wegsteek, yes. um, so dat dit nie aan die licht kom nie. Maar dit is so amazing, as mens bereid kan wees, om jezelf te vernederen en aan die licht te kan kom, dan maak die Heere jou vry, dan maak hy jou yes. los, dan kom jy los van baie duister werke in jou leven. Prijs die Heere. Yeah, and, and the thing is, um, uh, the Bible is written, and we share in the gospel, when, and we accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Because we understand that our life is on, on a road to nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the Lord Jesus Christ came to deliver us from the works of darkness. Yeah. So that we can live eternally with Him. Ja, ons het geweer dat ons leven naar ons heen gaan en het sal ook naar ons heen gaan sonder die Heer Jesus Christus nie. Yes. Maar as ons naar hom toe kom, dan verlig hy ons pad. Jo, want daar is mis die woord. Yes. So dan verlig hy jou pad om te kan sien waar jy in jou leven moet gaan. Is dit nie mooi nie? <laughs> yeah, and, he, and he wants to make us uh, to understand that our entire life yeah. doesn't consist of this world. Yeah. 
we um, we conduct our life. We we conduct our life according to this world. And Jesus Christ came to reveal to us this world will come to an end. We all know it. Yeah, amen. Every single person knows it. Everybody will die sometime. Yes. Then what? What further? Now Jesus Christ came so that we can understand there is a life here after. There is an afterlife, but here we must make our decision yes. where we will spend eternity. Ja, Jesus Christ is het gekom so dat ons kan hoor. Daar is die ewige lewe. Ek lees vir gestrand so mooi. Hy sê, ja, die gebod van die Vader is die ewige lewe. Amen. Jo, dit is amazing, nee. Dit is waar die evangelie gaan, is die ewige lewe. Dis ook om ons ons kese hier moet maak, so dat ons die ewigheid kan ingaan en by die woord wees, by die Vader wees. <laughs> in sy teenwoordigheid is dit nie mooi nie. So ja, as mens hier so um, net lewe, is jy die Elendigste. elendigste mens van alles, as jy net op hier die wereld hoop, as jy net hier hoop om iets hier uit te sorteer, dan is jy elendig. Maar wanneer jy besef dat dit gaan oor die eeuwigheid, dan kan jy iets vir die koninkrijk van God beteken. Loof die Heere. Ja, of course, the commandment of Jesus Christ that he received from the Father is eternal life. Ja, amen. And he preached eternal life to us. Amen. And he preached and told us what we ought to do, what we must do, what is the commandment of God at the end of the day to enter into eternal life with Him. Because there is an eternal damnation as well. But there is an eternal life with God the Father and His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, with all the angelic beings and everybody that served the Lord here on earth. Christy. Now, sometimes we, we say we serve the Lord. Sometimes we say we are a Christian. We follow the Lord. We are born again. Isn't it so? Baie keer, dan denk ons, ons is weer gebore. Baie keer sê ons, ons is dalk weer gebore. Maar of ons um, leef dalk een goeie lewe. Ons probeer. Yeah. Ons probeer die dinge van die Heere doen. Ons probeer saam praat. <laughs> As ek het so kan stel. Maar um, is jy werkelijk kind van God? And this is a main thing. Sometimes we... Um, we get frustrated yeah. because our prayers doesn't get answered. Um, we think, Lord, where are you? Why don't you answer me? Um, I serve thee. I read my Bible. I'm, uh, I, am, I have a zeal for thee. And why still is my circumstances as it is? Why is things like they are? It sometimes feels like the Lord doesn't hear you. Why yeah. is that? Baie keer voel ons in ons omstandighede, Heere, hoekom verander my omstandighede nie? Hoekom hoor jy my nie as ek roep nie? Hoekom hoor jy my nie as ek bid nie? Ek doen dan alles wat ek moet doen, maar dit voel of jy my nie hoor nie. Ek bly dan in my omstandighede en ek raak moedeloos. Baie keer raak mys moedeloos as jy voel dat die Heere jou nie jou gebede verhoor nie. Nou, hoekom gebeur dit? Ja, yeah, because um, now we're talking uh, uh, um, not about our daily trials and tribulations. Yeah. It is as if you are cut off from heaven. Yeah. As of that, niks gebeur nie. Niks whip, niks nie. And, and we can say the following as well. When we read in Luke 13 verses 26 and 27, kom ons lees gaan Lukas 13 vers 26 en 27. Dan sal jylle begin sê, ons het in die teenwoordigheid geëet en gedrink en um, uh, en jy het op ons strate geleer en hy sal sê, ek sê vir jylle, ek ken jylle nie waar jylle vandaan is nie, gaan weg van my, al jylle werkers van ongerechtigheid. Now let's just, just read this verse, uh, verses in English, that is Luke 13 verses 26 and 27. Then shall he begin to say, we have eaten and drunk in thy presence and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye, uh, ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. So here the Lord Jesus Christ said, the day, and this is the end of the world, the end of the day. Um, a lot of people will come and say, Lord, but we've been in your presence. Yeah, ek was in die teenwoordigheid gewees. Ek het gehoor, ek was saam, ek het geluister. 
I've eaten of your word. Yeah. I drank of your life. Yes. I even partook of the Holy Communion. <laughs> yes. And why does it, and I het op strate geleer, I, um, what does it say in English again? You, um, you taught in our streets. And we were under the ministry of the gospel. We heard the gospel. Yeah. And at the end of the day, he will tell you, go away. I knew you not. Yes. Why is this? It sounds very harsh. Yeah, it sounds very hard. Yes. How come it so be? Because I know in the tenwoordigheid van die Heere was, en hy stier jou net weg, dit is ons baie hard. Dit klink baie hard. Ja, yeah, sometimes you will willfully separate you from the pleasures and the sin of the world. You try to live a good life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are there, you attend the church, you have a love of the Lord, you have got the Bible, you pray every day. But why is it sometimes that you are completely hopeless? Ja, hoe kom is mis baie keer voel mys hoopeloos. Jy snu jou van die wereldse dinge af, jy bid, jy soek die Heere, maar daar is toch daai saak dat jy net afgesnui voel. Hmm. And there can, can be a lot of um, opinions, there can be a lot of reasons, yes. but this morning I want to talk to you about one specific reason. And this is the thing... The most important one. Yes. And this is the thing, when my, uh, my, uh, my wife and I, when we minister to a lot of people, we come to them and they say, no, we serve the Lord, we love the Lord from a small age. But when you start talking about uh, spiritual rebirth, yes, I gave my life to the Lord. But if you start talking to them, yeah, you nothing. hear they never ever gave their life willfully to the Lord. Ja, baie keer sê jy mens, van kleins af hou ek al die Heere dien, en ek het baie keer as klein kind my hart vir die Heere gegee, maar wanneer mens het een persoon begin praat oor rechtig die wedergeboorte, dan hoor jy mens, maar daar het nog nie een wedergeboorte in die persoon plaasgevind nie. So dan, dan besef jy mens, dat jy is nog nie kind van God nie. So baie keer het ons die idee van, van kind af as ek lief vir die Heere, ek wil nog altyd die Heere dien, en Ek het tien keer toe ek tuin was, my hart vir die Heere gegeet, toe ek tien en twaal was, en so het ek met my pad gestap, maar wanneer jy met die persoon praat, dan hoor jy, yes. maar daar is nie een weergebore hart nie. Daar is nog nie een gees in die yes. hart ontvang nie. Yes. Daar het nie een besnijdenis plaas yes. gevind nie. Amen. So as mys dit kan daar volgend verstaan, dan maak dit so'n bykie een ander prentje in die evangelie, om seker te maak van jou wedergeboorte. Yeah, if you go and read in John 3, uh, Jesus is clear about uh, the spiritual rebirth that he says if you are not spirit, and, and, and he preached to Nicodemus. Now Nicodemus were a teacher of the law. He were a one, he gave his entire life and he conducted his life according to the law of God. He, he was a ruler, he was a, he was a overster. Yeah. He was a leader. Yes. So he was one that people looked up to for guidance according to the word of God. Ja, so Jesus het met Nicodemus gepraat en Nicodemus was a leer overste. So hy moest die mense leer. Hy het na hom gekyk vir raad vir hulle ewe, vir hulle um, uh, geestelike lewe. En um, toe Jesus met hom praat, toe verstaan Jesus, maar Nicodemus verstaan nie. En baie keer het ons geestelike lewe ook baie mense kry maar ons hulp. Ons, het ook, ons was ook in een kerkdenominatie gewees en jy het gevoel, die hier kerkdenominatie is nie meer vir my nie, ek sien daar is bykie fout. En jy het net oorgegaan na aan een kerk toe, vir bykie guidance in jou geestelike lewe, yes. maar dat niks in jou hart plaas gevind nie. Ja, yeah, most of the time we just change church and especially yeah. now that church is so freely on the internet, we never ever, sometimes we never even go to a physical church anymore because we think there's a, there, there, there's a lot of church on the internet. Yes. Why do I have to go to a building? Yes. And we have changed our circumstances, but we haven't, there, there wasn't a heart change. Yeah. Now the Bible is clear, John 1 verses 12 and 13, the Bible says we must be born of God to become children of God. Yeah. If you're not spiritually reborn, you cannot be a child of God. And now, uh, in John 9 verses 35, the Bible are clear. He says, he doesn't hear the prayer of a sinner. And what is a sinner? This weekend that passed, we talked about uh, um, 
Uh, uh, who Hello. can be a sinner? <laughs> ja, of hoe hulle was allemaal sondags. Yes. So, wanneer jy um, nie jou hart vir die Heere gegeet nie, wanneer jy nie tot wedergeboorte gekom het nie, is jy een sondag. Yes. En die woord sê so mooi, hy sê vir ons dat, ek hoor nie die gebed van een sondag. Yes. So, dis ook om ons baie keer moedeloos voel, jyre, maar ek doen dan alles wat ek moet doen. Ek lees my Bijbel, ek bid, ek soekie. Ek is bezig met die preke, ek is bezig met alles wat godsdienstig is. En hoekom is my leven in die toestand? Hoekom vorder ek nie? Hoekom gebeur daar niks in my leven nie? En dan raak een mens moedeloos. So die, die scripture is John 9 verse 31, wat hy sê, um, he doesn't hear the prayer of a sinner, but if somebody fears God, and does his will, then he hears them. And even in our spiritual life, after we are, we are say for instance, we were really born again, we have that testimony, we can fall back, yeah. And when we fall back, we are classified as a sinner once again. Yes, dan moet jy bekeer. Mm. Jy moet naar die Heere toe gaan en gaan verneder en jouself bekeer, jou hart uitsorteer met die Heere. Yes, and, and, God, and God hears when you call and you break your heart open, open. Yeah. and you humble yourselves yes. and you call upon Him and you say, Lord, I realize I'm lost. Yeah. It's not about getting an earthly outcome or an earthly material um, voorziening provide ja just to receive material things yes. it's about we must realize we are spiritually lost that yeah. is the realization that must be in our hearts yes. it's not about serving the Lord to get a material or a temporal outcome in our lives yes Maar wanneer ons die Heere dien en ons is rechtig kind van hom en ons soek hom, werk hou ek hier die sake vir ons uit, yes. op een manier werk hou dit vir ons uit, maar baie keer roep ons om aan en ons krijg nie antwoord nie, omdat ons nog nie kind van God is nie. Ja, yeah, and um, we can, if you are a child of God and you serve God and you come in very difficult situations, it is as if there is always hope. Ja, dat is altyd hoop. As jy, as jy is kind van die Heere en situaties beland, dan is daar altyd hoop. Jy weet, jyre, jy kan my help. Maar in een sondaarse toestand is het baie keer moedeloos. Ja, yeah, of course, we sometimes see a sinner as somebody that steals and murders and break and are dis- uh, 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 re- rebellious. And, but a, a sinner doesn't mean that you are completely, as we call it, caught up in sin. Because Nicodemus yeah, was a man. teacher of the law, a good man. Yes. He baie lived, keer is ons goeie mense. Yes. He lived according to the scripture of the day. Yeah. And even he, Jesus said to him, You Nicodemus, if you are not born again, first of all, you won't see the kingdom of God. What does it mean? You won't see what it's about. Yeah. You won't see it's about spirit. It's about eternal life. And if you don't see it here on earth already, then you won't be able to enter it in the afterlife. So as jy nie sien waar die koninkryk van God gaan nie, dit beteken jy verstaan nie waar die koninkryk van God gaan nie. So wanneer jy kind van God word, en word die geest van God in jou leven, in jou hart uitgestort, dan begin jy verstaan, jy begin sien, waar oor die koninkryk van God gaan, het gaan oor die geestelike, het gaan oor die eeuwige lewe, yes. dan begin jy dit verstaan, maar as jy dit nie sien op hierdie aarde nie, gaan jy nie daar kan ingaan nie. Dis in Afrikaans sê jy moet diep insien yes. in die wet van vryheid. Yeah. You must see in the law of freedom. The freedom is the spiritual law. Yeah. And if you don't see in that and you cannot see in it with the fleshly mind while you are covered in sin, while you are classified as a sinner because the spirit of God is testifies of the word of God and the spirit of God makes the word come alive. Yeah. And if you don't have the spirit, the, 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 the Bible will be letters and the Bible says the letter kills. Yeah. So the letter of the word, if you're not spiritually alive, can kill you. So as jy nie weer gebore is nie, dan kan die kennis van die woord jou dood maak. Maar die liefde is stig, so as jy jou hart vir die Heere gegeet yes. en jy krijg dan die kennis van die woord en die geest van die Heere maak het vir jou levend, dan laat het jou leven. Maar as jy dood is, as jy nog geestelik dood is, gaan dit jou dood maak. Ja, yeah, because Jesus Christ says, he were, His words is spirit and life. Yeah. So the words that He spoken is spirit. Amen. And sometimes we think because we read the word, because we are Christian, 
we are born again. We serve the Lord. We have the Spirit, but we still understand the Word of God on, on, in a natural way. Yeah. And a natural person cannot understand the things of God. Natuurlijke mens kan nie die dinge van die, van die Heere verstaan nie. So as jy in jou hart vir die Heere gegee het nie, en nie weer gebore word, dan gaan jy nie die geestelike verstaan nie, dan gaan jy die natuurlijke verstaan. Yes. En jy gaan altyd in die natuurlijke wil lewe, want dit is wat jy gaan verstaan. Maar sodra jy jou hart vir die Heere gee, en hoe weet ek, ek het my hart vir die Heere gee, ek sien, dit is al soms een volgende vraag. Yes. Hoe weet ek dit? Hoe is ek daai sekerheid, yes. ek het my hart vir die Heere gegee? Het jy een dag gehad, wat jij voor die Heere gaan uitroep het, met een gebroke hart. Jou sonde besef. Jou sonde besef het, besef jy is een verloore mens. Jy het gesê, Heere, ek is een sondaar. Ek wil hier Jesus Christus in my hart ennooi. Terwyl jy in jou hart ennooi het, het jy jou sonde uitgeroep. Amen. Voor sy aangezicht, jy het klaargemaak met hy sonde. God het jou hart besnui en vir jou die gees gegee. Jy het anders gesien, gevoel, ervaar. Jy het verlossing gekry van baie dinge. Dis wanneer jy weet, dat jy wel tot wedergeboorte gekom het, nie net om een change te maak in jou leven van slag na goed nie. Ja, yeah, they say you must make a, a, a mind shift. It's not a mind shift, it's a heart change. Yes. And that, this is the most important thing. And um, Ancient says, yes, you create a lot of Nicodemuses today. And that's a fact. That's from the beginning of the church. Yeah. That you get the Nicodemus. He's obedient. He will serve the Lord, but or be a Christian, according to him, serve the Lord. But if you have never broken before the Lord and realize that you are spiritually lost, not about just changing your earthly circumstances, because you can be as poor as a church mouse and have nothing and you can go to heaven. Amen. If, <laughs> if we look at the a parable that Jesus spoke of Lazarus the beggar and the rich man, the Lazarus died. God didn't provide for him food. Neither did he heal him. I mean, he was so sick, the dogs came and licked his sores. But still, he went to heaven. Ja, ja so dit gaan nie vandag oor jou aardse omstandighede of jou hemel toe of hel toe gaan nie. Dit gaan oor het jou hart vir die heren gegeen. Lazarus was a bedelaar. Hy het <coughs> doodgegaan van sy soere van honger. En die heren het nie vir hom gegeen en hom gezond gemaakt nie. Maar wanneer jy jou hart vandag vir die Heere gee, dan kan jy yes. jimmel toe gaan, dan jy daar hoop om jimmel toe te gaan. Amen. Maak die saak, wat is jou omstandighede yes. op hier die aarde nie? Ja, yeah, and this is the big thing. Now, I want to shift our conversation to John 13. Now, what happened in John 13? Now, John 13 is where, mainly if we think about it, is where Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. Now, if you go there, you can go and read in your own time the entire chapter. We're not going to read the entire chapter. But uh, let us first read um, verses 2. I just want to see where we are. Let's read verses. I just want to um, make it bigger. <laughs> Let us read here in John. We're going to read a few verses and then we're going to explain it. John 13, verses 2. Then verses 26 and verses 27 and then verses 30. So it's verse 2, 26, 27 and 30 of John 13. Hy sê, en gedeerde in die maaltijd, die duivel het in, um, al in die hart van die, Judas Iscario die seen van Simon ingegee om om te verraai. <coughs> Jesus antwoord dit, um, antwoord dit is die een van aan wie ek die stikkie sal gee, as ek dit ingedoop het, en toe hy die stikkie ingedoop het, gee hy dit aan Judas Iscario, die seen van Simon, en nadat hy die stikkie geneem het, het die Satan in hom ingevaar, en Jesus sê vir hom, wat jy doen, doen het hastig, toe hy dan die stikkie geneem het, het hy dadelijk uitgegaan, en dit was nacht. Ok, here we can see in John 13, verses, um, two, uh, verses 2, and then verses 26 and 27 and 30, I'm just going to read it in English as well, and supper being ended, the devil have already put it in the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Then verses 26, Jesus answered, It is he to whom I shall give a piece of bread when I've dipped it. And having dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, 
the son of Simon. Verse 27. Now after a piece of bread, Satan entered him. Then Jesus said to him, what you do, do it quickly. Then verse 30. Having received a piece of bread, he then went out immediately and it was night. So why did I read this to you? Because in verses 8 and 9, what happened here? This is where Jesus washed his disciples' feet, including Judas Iscariot. Yeah. At this stage, <laughs> Judas was still there at the table while they were feasting. Now let us just read here in um, Ju uh, John 13 verses 8 and 9. This is where Jesus Christ came to Peter to wash his feet and he, um, I, I just had the word, protestier, rebel, refused. yeah, rebelled actually, or, yeah. yeah, and said to Jesus, not just my hands, but my entire body. Yeah. So, and Jesus said to him the following, and let us read there. Peter said for him, I shall my foot in der eeuwigheid nie was nie. Jesus antwoord om, as ek jou nie was nie, het jy geen deel aan my nie. Simon Petrus sê vir hom, Heere, nie net my voete nie, maar ook die hande en die hoof. Jesus sê vir hom, hy wat gewas is, het niks anders nodig as om die voete te was nie, maar is heel te mal rein, en jylle is rein, maar nie amal nie. So here it's quite interesting when we read the scripture here. He says, Peter said to him, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, if I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, He was he who is bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean, and you are all clean, but not all of you. Now yet Jesus Christ referred to Judas Iscariot. He said to Peter, You all are clean, and we read in John fifteen verses three, where Jesus Christ says, My word have cleansed you. Yeah, and so we must understand yeah, sorry. <laughs> so I say for Simon Petrus, I say for him, yeah, that um, as jy klaar skoon is, moet net jou voete gewas word. Maar hy sê, jylle is allemaal rein dier die woord wat ek tot jylle gespreek het. Maar daar is jy wat nie rein is nie. En um, so Jesus het ook Piet, um, Juras Iscariot se voete gewas. Um, ek is nou so'n bykie van my strijd yeah, aansraf, maar... Ja, yeah, so Jesus washed Judas Iscariot's feet, but he says you all are clean. Yeah. Except one. Yeah. But still in John 15, 3, he says... My word has cleansed you. Yeah, so the word reinig ons. Yes, but Judas in the church, in the direct presence of Jesus Christ, the word could not even have cleaned Judas Iscariot. Yes, so al was Judas Iscariot in die teenwoordigheid van Jesus, kon die woord hom nie rein maak nie. Al was hy in die directe teenwoordigheid van Jesus. So, and, and now we see here at the table, that Jesus Christ said, all of you are clean except one. So Judas received the word. He were in the presence of the word. He walked with the word. At this stage, it was almost three and a half years. Yeah, so he had some of Jesus the path gestaf for three and a half years. But the word could not reinig nie. Why did the other reinig? Why couldn't the word cleanse Judas Iscariot? We know the Bible says, and I'm not going to do all the scriptures, Judas had the money back. He was greedy of the money. He served the Lord because of the material gain he had in Jesus Christ's church. So Judas is carried out of the beers. He had the Lord Jesus gedien as gevolg van die geld, die materialistische deel in die evangelie. So sy hart het nooit verander nie. Yes, the fact that he heard the word. And there was two instances, I'm not going to read it to you, in uh, Matthew 10 from verse 5 and Luke 10 from verse 1. That's Matthew 10 from 5 and Luke 10 from 1. Where Jesus Christ at two instances sent out his disciples, including Judas Iscariot. Yeah, Judas was ook uitgesteer. Yes. Twee keer. Yeah, twee keer uitgesteer. And they had to heal and cast out devils. Judas healed and cast out devils. <laughs> nee? Yeah. Can you translate for us? Okay. <laughs> so Judas had to be healed and he had devils out. Yes. And still at the end of the day, because his heart were with money. Yeah. 
And what does the Bible say? The root of all evils is the love for money. Ja, so Judas was nog lief vir geld gewees en al die, die woord sê so mooi, sê um, die wortel van alle evils is die liefde vir geld, geldgierigheid. Yes. So dit was in Judas a hart gewees. So, and he was extremely uh, um, greedy and when you have a certain problem in your heart, a certain thing in your heart, time will reveal the thing that is in your heart. So as you iets in your heart is wat verkeerd is, sal tyd dit openbaar wat verkeerd is in jou hart. Tyd en omstandighede. Tyd en omstandighede, dit wat nou pad langs kom, gaan openbaar wat in jou hart aan gaan. So as jy elke keer kwaad raak vir iets, weet maar als een probleem in jou hart. Yes. Of as jy val vir specifieke goed, die hele tyd, weet als een probleem in jou hart. Yeah, of course, we can oppress and we must have self-control. But at the end of the day, we must realize what is our problem and confess it and break open before the Lord and be honest with our situation. Yeah, so, then the God can uh, um, deliver us. Yeah, yeah so as daar probleem in jou hart is, um, erken dit. Erken daar probleem in jou hart en kom voor Heere in nederigheid en raak ons sla van dit, um, sê dit vir hom, um, beleid dit, kry dit uit jou hart uit, maar dan moet jy ook wegbeweeg van dit af. Yes. Dan moet jy klaar kry met jy verlossing kry van dit. Jy kan nie aangaan vir yes, ever nie. Amen. So we, yeah, we can see that Judas is carried because of a problem in his heart. Because there wasn't a honesty. And we, when, we, when you read through the entire John 13, at the end of the day, when Jesus Christ said to Judas Iscariot, go and do and what you do, do it quickly. None, uh, and Jesus Christ even said, one of you will be betray me this night. And none of his disciples expected that Judas will deny Jesus Christ and betray him. Ja, so, um, Jesus het gesê, een van julle sal my verraai, en niemand, nie een van sy disciples het geweet, wie dit sal wees, wat Jesus sal verraai nie. So rechtvaardig het Jesus vir Judas behandel, nog tot op die einde. Ja, yeah, even when we read at a conversation in all the Gospels, uh, Peter and John, they actually thought, to, and I said to one another in our table, is it, is it me, is it me, is it ja, me? Ja, al ken we weet, is het ek, jyre, is het ek? En even Judas het gesê, is het ek, jyre? <laughs> ja, even Judas sê, is it me? <laughs> and, and prior to that meal, he already conferred with the Pharisees, and they gave him 30 pieces yeah. of silver from the church, from the money that came from the church, the treasury, yeah. To betray Jesus Christ. Yes. So, 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 so hy daar met sy skanheilige gesig is. Gesig, is ja. So hy het gesê, hier is het ook ek. Maar hy het al klaar die geld ontvang. Hy het al klaar vir Jesus verraai. Hy het al klaar die loon ontvang vir dit wat hy wou doen. Yes. So toe kom hy en hy sê, hier is het ook ek. So hy was skanheilig, asof hy nou nie weet wat hy gedoen het nie. <laughs> en baie keer is ons so. Yes. Ons maak asof ons nie weet wat het ons gedoen nie. Of wat is nog in ons leven nie. Yes. So if we serve the Lord only to gain material things and the word hasn't changed our hearts anymore, it doesn't, when we are, when we listen to a lot of uh, 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 um, services and preaching of the gospel and read our Bible, why do we do it? We must be honest with ourselves. Because yeah. there will come a time and situation will reveal what is our true motive. And we've seen it a lot of times in the ministry. People asked us, they came across this ministry, they asked us pray for this and this. And when we started to pray, because I don't know, God in this ministry, He hears the prayer of this ministry, of the congregation, of the people of God. Yeah. And as soon as the Lord has answered that prayer, the people are gone. Yeah, so by a keer, wanneer die mense van ons vraag om te bid, en die mense begin bid, in die, in die, die broederskap, dan antwoord die heren. Maar dan is net so ek hier later en sê, nee, die persoon is nou weg, want um, nou die heren geantwoord, nou is die drukking weg. So baie keer maak dit die raamstandig jyre um, openbaar wat in jou hart is. En baie keer moet ons met ons self eerlik raak, hoekom is ons bezig met die um, dinge van die heren, as ek het nou so kan stel, ek luister preke en ek gaan aan en ek doen dinge en ek probeer kennis verwerf van al die dinge. Waar oor gaan dit op die einde van die dag? Nou die Heere het een manier 
om op een stadium in ons leven dit te openbaar. Yes. Dit die motief in ons hart te openbaar. Voor wat het is, hoe kom doen jij zekere dingen? En dit is waar jere, dit is ook om onstandig hier ons pad langs kom. Yes. Is om ons hart te openbaar. Elke lieve een van ons. Yes. Omstandig jere kom jou pad langs om yes. jou hart, die motief van jou hart, die wat toch in jou hart is, dit wat nog daar vast zit, dit wordt geopenbaar in die omstandig jere. So, dit is baie keer een dom ding wat jy gedoen yes. het. Dit gaan oor die jere wil hee, dat die omstandig jere jou pad moet voorbij kom, so dat jou hart geopenbaar kan word, omdat hy jou lief het, omdat hy jou wil red, verloos, vry maak, um, hy is nie spuitvol nie, en hy wil jou ook nie verneder nie. Die omstandig jere moet maak, dat jou hart verander. Ja, yeah, cause the Bible says that the long suffering of the Lord don't we understand that it leads us to repentance? Yeah. So it doesn't mean if the Lord is long-suffering on us and He has patience on us that we are in right standing with Him. We must do introspection. We must, yeah. we must seek the Lord and say, Lord, and we must be honest with Him because circumstances will eventually, this is what happened to Judas Iscariot as well. The Lord gave him and were patient with him three and a half years. And when the right circumstances and time came, his heart were revealed. His greediness for money were revealed. Yeah. And the 30 pieces of silver that he received is more or less a month's wages. That's not even enough money to go on pension. I mean, you spend a month's wages just like that. It's not even a year or two years uh, income. And it shows you when there is greed in one, one's heart, and when the motive is wrong in one, one's heart, it can be altogether another motive. And sometimes we think by just sharing and listening and listening and listening and listening to the gospel, it changes our heart. It doesn't change your heart. We think if we share scripture and we just share things, we, our heart is in the right place. Is your heart really in the right place? So I can do anything at the deal with honor. Um, skrifte te deel of allerhande goede goederkies te volwerd of wat ook al, voel ons ons harte is verloos, ons voel ons harte is bekeerd, maar is dit werkelijk? Yes. Het jy werkelijk jou hart vir Heere gegeen of probeer jy maar net goeie dinge doen of daai um, uh, 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 yes. beeld uit te dra yes. van ek is een goeie mens en ek is een kind van die Heere of een christen, ons praat ons maar ons is een christen so op die einde van die dag is dit werkelijk, dit wat in jou hart aangaan, is dit werkelijk waarmee jy bezig is? Yes. So as we put ourselves in the rock. Yeah, and, and we, we must remember uh, by just sharing things that we cannot even discern whether they are right or wrong. Yeah. Um, if we share things that are not right, that are not true, and that, that doesn't have a truthful source, we are spreading the lie. Ja, so as ons dinge deel wat van die leen is, en ons het nie eens die gave van onderscheiding in ons leven, of die uh, vermoe om te kan sien of iets recht of verkeerd is nie, en dan verspreid jy die leen. Jy verspreid dan nie die waarheid nie, al denk jy, jy verspreid die waarheid. Yes. So jy moet kan verstaan wat is die waarheid in die leen. En al hoe jy dit kan doen, jy kan nie as een sondaar verstaan wat is die woord van Godse waarheid en leen nie. Jy kan verstaan wanneer jy tot wedergeboorte gekom het. Yeah, and we must be honest with ourselves. If we have been born again, haven't we fallen back? Yeah. Haven't we fallen back into a, 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 a fleshly, earthly, natural way of the gospel? Ja, ons moet ons self eerlijk wees, as ons dan wel tot wedergeboorte gekom het, het ons nie eenwers teruggeval nie. Yes. Dalk weer in die natuurlijke, die vleeslijke, en die, die aardse, het yes. ons nie dalk teruggeval, om nou ook soos ander te denk. Yes. Dit wat ons dalk ons oor en meer volgemaak het, het dit nie dalk ons hart so gepenetreer, dat ons nie meer recht verstaan nie. Ja. So ons het dalk teruggeval in een leen in, en ons moet daar uitkom, so dat ons kan verstaan, die verskil tussen goed en kwaad. I'm just seeking a scripture here, yeah. Um, ah, John 12 verses 26 John 12 verses 26 and I think this is also can uh, connect with everything that we've just said and just in one scripture John 12 verses 26 uh, read from 25 Wie sy lewe lief het sal dit verloor maar wie sy lewe haat in hier die wereld sal dit bewaar vir die ewige lewe as iemand my dien laat hom my volg en waar ek is, daar sal my dienaar ook wees, en as iemand my dien, sal die vader hom eer. 
Yep. This is quite an interesting scripture when I've read it. It says, He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto a life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Sure. This is a, a we, we, we usually talk about the promises of God. Now, the promises of God does have a voorwaarde. Yeah. Weet you what is a voorwaarde? Mm. In elk geval. Yeah. <laughs> and we must serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we serve Him, and we are a servant of Him, yeah. then the Father will honor us. And this is what Jesus Christ says. Go into your closet, first of all, pray, seek the Lord, not the things... Don't seek the Lord for the things. Seek the Lord for your deliverance. Yeah. For your spiritual deliverance. And then my Father will honor you. Ja, so when our Lord has love and eer, will God us eer. As we om dien. As we om dien. And we must certainly make us dien. We must not die here and seek for the earth's things. Nie. When you are in your bed and come and go, we must not die here and seek for the earth's things. Nie. Seek Him for your verlossing. Verlossing, so come for your ever geleven. And I saw the thing I saw the years as it would gaan. But by the way, so so focus on the root here and it on for us materialistic thing. And us verstaan nie, maar ons hart moet verander in hierdie omstandighede, en ons is in hierdie omstandighede, so dat ons harte kan verander. Want anders is die omstandighede use, useless. Want die Heere gebruik a tyd in ons leven, om ons harte kan verander, om te kan verstaan, om te kan onderscheid tussen goed en slag, om seker te maak, ek het my hart vir die Heere gegee, uitgesorteer. En al die dinge moet ons verstaan. Nou, wanneer die mens nog aangaan, met leen, prediking en al die type van dinge, dan sê dit, jy toch nie jou hart oopgebreek teen oor die Heere nie. En jy gaan maar net aan in jou leven. Yes. En onthou net, dit is so, geloof sonder werke is dood. Maar, wat se werke doen jy? Yes. Want as jy die verkeerde werke doen, gaan dit verbrand. Yes. Dis hoe scary dit is. En jou siel gaan verloore. Jou siel gaan verloore gaan. So as jy anhou om die werke te doen wat nie raag is nie, gaan jy verloore gaan en jou werke gaan verbrand. Yes. So om te sê, mens moet werke hee, ja, maar wat sy werke het jy? Ja, so in the church nowadays it works of the Old Testament law and it just works. Yeah. It looks Christian. It looks like the right thing. Uh, we we entangle ourselves with things that looks like the right thing, but it isn't. The Bible talks about it. What is the spiritual works? The spiritual works is to obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, to yeah. accept His word as it is, is written, yeah. to turn our back against the lies of the devil, yes. to turn our backs against the world, and to love the brotherhood. Jesus Christ said, if you serve me, my Father will honor you. How do you serve Jesus Christ? First of all, Jesus gave us a, an entire parable. We must serve the brothers in the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. <coughs> so, you must um, your geestelijke work uitsorteer. And you must sorg that you the will of the Lord do in your work. So, that you feel you do not work. Want dit gaan verbrand. So ons moet die, die broederskap lief hee, ons moet in die broederskap een word, ons moet daar uitsorteer, ons moet ons leven daarvoor gee, ons moet het lief hee, want die woord van die Heere sê so, maar hy sê, as jy nie jou broeder lief het, nie leven jy nie dood. En dit is wat die Heere ons wil leer. So, skakel iwers in, maak iwers vast, begin leer, begin uitsorteer, begin in een richting ingaan. Baie keer is ons richting loos. Ons is hier en ons is daar en ons is daar en ons is daar. Die Heere praat volgend in ons harte. Maak vast iwers en begin die Heere dien. En vat die woord van waarheid en maak dit deel van jou leven en raak gehoorzaam aan die woord van waarheid. Dit is die eerste werk wat jy moet doen. En so kan jy die rest van jou werk dan volg. Maar as jy daar nie uitgesorteer is en die werk van die Heere daar kan vastmaak nie, gaan jy die rest van jou werke nutteloos wees, want dan gaan dit in elk geval in die wind wees, want jy gaan nie weet wat jy doen nie. So die Heere praat er werkelijk met ons volgend, maak vast, maak jou hart vast, begin die woord verstaan, maak jou hart oop vir lering, maak jou hart oop om geleer te word, yes. om lering te ontvang, om te onderwerp aan gesag, so dat die Heere jou kan uitsorteer, want ons gaan so heen en weer, dit is ja. alsof mense weet waar jy is jou pad nie. 
Yeah, in, in this world, we, we understand you cannot be employed by one company and during the day you are in the next company and by the next company you do this here and do this day and at the end of the day you want the full reward from the one company but you all most of the time you're not there just now and then in the morning you clock in say yes i'm here but the rest of the day you spend your time elsewhere the boss will think wow what are you busy with you don't do your work but spiritually we don't understand this thing yeah. We want the full reward, and most of the time we want the reward on earth. We don't understand it is a spiritual reward. It's not an earthly reward. And we are busy with lies, with the sin, with the things, with everybody's mind and opinion. Yeah. And then we want deliverance through Jesus Christ from God our Father. Yeah. And we need to understand this today. What are we really busy with? Ja, ja so ons is baie keer bezig met baie dinge, maar dan wil ons die, die um, wat is nou die reward? Die belooning. Die belooning hee, wat die Heere vir ons moet gee op hierdie aarde. Maar jy is so bezig met alles. Jy is bezig met die en daai, en dan is jy bezig met dit, en dan is jy bezig met dat, met die sonde, met die ongerechtigheid. Jy leen jou oorheid aan die wereld, jy leen jou oorheid aan ander mense, en sovoorts, en dan wil jy dit hee, wat die Heere vir jou moet gee. So die Heere werk anders. Die Heere werk in gesag. Die Heere werk in um, autoriteit. So wat gebeur is, jy moet iwers begin inskakel. Jy moet iwers begin jou hart vastmaak. Jy moet begin iwers begin leer. Jou hart moet vastgemaak word. Die Heere kan nie werk in een los hart nie. Want dan is jy hier, dan is jy daar, dan is jy sis, dan is jy so. Dan maak jy jouself wat jy nie beter voel, en dan is dit hierdie ding, dan is dit daai ding. Maar die woord van die Heere is dan vastig, dit is onbeweeglik. En dis wat die Heere ons wil leer, maak jou hart vast. Wanneer jy seker, jy moet eerst seker maak dat jy tot wedergeboorte gekom het. As jy tot wedergeboorte gekom het, maak vast. Maak vast aan die broederskap wat jy geleer kan word. Yes. Praise die Heere. So, praise the Lord. So, so sometimes we, we we are we were we are all over the place. Yes. We must make, we must anchor our heart somewhere, sometimes some place. And most of the time, when we say brotherly love, it <coughs> means we, I must receive brotherly love. Let us be honest. If if I think a, a, a few weeks or a few months ago, I realized that sometimes we think we are we are we 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 have love. Because we receive love. Yeah. Do we really, do we have love when we receive love? Because most of the time when we talk about love and brotherly love, is, is, is we look around us and think, I must receive, yeah, so not I, I must give. So as baie keer as ons na die broederskap kyk, dan denk ons, maar ek moet liefde ontvang. Amal moet vir my liefde uitdeel. Maar op die einde van die dag, dis wat die woord sê, broeder liefde is om die liefde te gee, hmm. om uit te deel na jou broeders toe. So dit gaan nie oor jy wat liefde ontvang, dan het jy liefde nie. Dit sê nie jy het liefde as jy liefde ontvang nie. Maar wanneer jy liefde uitdeel, dan het jy liefde. So, so I, I, I believe this um, thought this morning, this yeah. message can help you today um, to become born again. If you are not born again, if you are born again, maybe you have fallen back completely because it's sin and righteousness. And um, if we are busy with the wrong things in the gospel, of the wrong gospel, of the wrong motive, then we don't walk in the righteousness of God because Jesus Christ is holy, He's pure, He um, doesn't have communion, didn't have communion with the devil, doesn't have it today. God hates this world. He's not a lover of this world. Not a friend. We must hate this world. He's not a friend of this world, um, etc. And sometimes we are... Because uh, for the sake of friends and family, we still hold back. Yeah. We still pretend. When we are here with the family, we talk like this. When we are there, we talk like that. When we are there, we talk like that. Yeah, so that's the standfastigheid in your geestelijke leven. And as a result of people who are still around you, is you say that here so and there so and there so, here you talk so to get the advantage of it, here you talk so because you want to finally be calm, because you want to be calm for the evangelist, or whatever the case may be. So many times we are still around you, as a result of people who are still around you, as a result of people who are still around you, as a result of people en bande wat ons nog hier het, en daar wat een voordeel wat ons nog kan kry. Yes. So die Heere wil ons losmaak, hy is nie een vriend van hierdie wereld nie, hy het nie die wereld lief nie, hy het nie uh, 
gemeenschap om met die duivel nie, hy het nie die gemeenskap met die bose werke nie, hy wil het uit jou leven uitwerk, hy wil uitsorteer in jou hart, zodat so jij jy kan loskom van die bose werke, en baie keer om jou leven openbaar te maak, om daar word te gesels, daar word te praat, sekerheid te kry, maak dat jou hart aan die licht kom, maak dat hy duister werke kan gaan, dat die Heere vir jou ewers kan begin, uitsorteer, yes. want anders gaan jy moedeloos raak, en jy gaan voel, Heere, jy wil my nie help nie, maar die Heere werk in orde, hy werk onder gesag, so op die einde van die dag, as ons dit kan verstaan, dan verander jou hele leven, en omdat Judas, Iskariot, sy hart, so vast was in die wereld, en hy wou vir Jesus volg, as gevolg van die materialistische deel, kon die woord wat Jesus gesprek het, om die reinig nie, so hy wou in sy teenwoordigheid wees, vir die voordeel, Yeah, and he talked like one of the disciples, especially when Jesus Christ sent him out. He talked the same way. He outward, outwardly, it looks like he's doing the same thing. Um, he walks and talks like the disciples, but his heart wasn't right. Yeah. So, baie kere, klink ons reg, ons lyk reg, ons sê die rechte goed. But us, we, us het kennis van die Bible, we have knowledge of the Bible, so we know how to say the right things. But where is our heart really? Ja, waar is jou hart rechtig? Baie keer sê ons die rechte dinge, dit klink as of jy die rechte dinge verstaan en weet, maar waar is jou hart? Want dan het die woord van die Heere gaan altyd oor die hart. Dit gaan nooit oor ander dinge nie. So die Heere sorteer altyd eerst die hart uit. Okay. As die hart uitgesorteer is, kan die ander dinge uitsorteer. <coughs> maar die Heere kan nie die hart uitsorteer, ach, die ander dinge uitsorteer, voor die hart nie uitgesorteer is, want dan raak die hart hart. Dan raak dit vir hart, en jy voel, jy is in die gins van die Heere. So as die mense hart nie raag is, en jy in die Heere sorteer, is saak vir jou uit, gaan jy voel, jy is nou op die rechte plek. Yes. Die Heere keer jou leven goed, soos het is, die Heere het nou vir my wonenwerk gedoen, want ek is sjap. Maar as jou hart kan uitsorteer, dan kan die Heere in jou leven begin werk. Sjo. Sure. So it's all about the heart. We know how to talk the gospel. We know how to think the gospel. We know how to pretend the gospel. Yeah. This is what the Bible says. Beite kant is jylle mooi. Outward you are fine. But what is really going on inside the heart? And remember to say you are um, one and say you are with. It's not words. This is what the Bible says. That we are not justified by our words, but by our actions. Yeah. Well, how is our actions? Our actions prove if we are subject, if we yeah. are with, if we are, if we are in a unity. Yes. Um, if your heart was with my heart, like my heart is with your heart, only time will tell. Yeah. And sometimes we talk a lot. We talk a lot. <laughs> we talk a lot. But the, our actions prove where we are. Ja, so baie keer praat ons baie, en ons praat baie dinge, maar ons um, acties maak, dat ons weet waar ons harte is. Ja, yeah, nowadays, sometimes it's easy to see when, where, where somebody's heart is. Like what he shares on Facebook, what he shares on WhatsApp, it's, sometimes it's quite easy ja. to see where is somebody's Voor die heart. Voor die Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ja, jy kan so my sien, jy, hierdie persoon weet nog glad nie wat in die evangelie aangaan nie, want sy hart is glad nie daar nie, hy onderwerp nie om te leer, om deel te raak, om te verstaan nie, hy gaan aan op sy eie trant, hmm. en hy share dinge wat glad nie volgens die woord van die Heere is nie, dan wil ons die woord van die Heere ons eie maak, en die beloftes ons eie maak, maar mys verstaan nie eers die woord nie, jy is nie bezig met die woord nie, jy is bezig met sê goed, jy is yes. bezig met allerhande dinge buiten die woord, en dan kan ons die aanspraak maak, dat die Heere ons moet antwoord nie, yes. want baie keer dink ons ook, ons bid, maar ons bid allerhande goeders, Ja, het is eindelijk wensdenkerij. Wensdenkerij. Yes. Fantasie. We only, we only actually just argue with ourselves. Yes. It's not really prayer. En grijp aan gras, Alimpies. Grijp hier, grijp daar. Dit laat my beter voel. Dit streel my emotie. Dit maak dat ek vir oomlik beter voel. Maar as die Heere inkom en hy verander jou hart, dan voel jy anders. Dan is jy verlos in jou hart. Dan gaan dit nie my oor, Heere, ek moet hier bykie goed voel, daar bykie goed voel nie. Want dit kan jy nie verlos nie, dit kan jy nie vrymaak nie. As jy evangelie oor gevoel gaan, het jy een machtige probleem. Want die evangelie gaan oor gehoorzaamheid. Elke dag is een stap van gehoorzaamheid. Ja, yeah, because faith is the substance of the things that you don't see. Yeah. You don't see. Faith is not visible. Faith is an inward um, and that must become 
visible outward yeah. in your actions. Because we must believe in the word of God. We must strive for holiness yeah, inwardly. And then outwardly our actions will become visible. Ja, so ons moet gehoorzaam word in die woord en dan sal ons aksies buiten sal verander. Die beker sal hier bykie aan die buitenkant ook skoon kom. As jy ge- gehoorzaam is aan die woord en jy het een binnenkamer verhouding met die Heere, dan sal hier die uiterlijke ook bykie verander. Dan gaan jy so bykie kan begin smaal en uitsorteer en dinge, want dan weet jy, ek moet gehoorzaam wees aan die woord wat sê ek moet verander. Ek moet vriendelijk wees, ek moet bedagsaam wees, ek moet liefdevol wees, ek moet al die dinge wees. So as jy die Heere soek en jy Versta nie dat jy moet uitbreek uit hierdie um, vleeslike denke en idees en gedagtes en gaan hierdie heel tyd moedeloos voel. En jy gaan die hele tyd op een gevoel wil lewe. Maar as jy kan verstaan, jyre, ek moet in gehoorzaamheid hier dien. En ek moet hoor wat die woord van sê en ek moet volgens dit verander. En die verandering is nie lekker nie. Dit kan ek vir jy sê, die verandering dat jy nie goed voel nie. Die verandering dat jy seer voel baie keer. Die verandering dat jy vernederd voel baie keer. Want dit is nie wat jou lichaam wil doen nie. Hy wil nie dit doen nie. Maar as jy dit in gehoorzaamheid kan doen, dis geloof om die woord in gehoorzaamheid toe te pas, yes. so dat dit hier kan doorbreek. Yes. Prijs die Heere. So, when we look at our, the, the gospel today, we can understand that we need to submit under the authority of God and how do it become visible, how we live our life in this fleshly plane from the heart, otherwise it's just a rule upon rule and ordinance about upon ordinance even the gospel of the lord jesus christ can become rules yeah. i must say certain things i must do certain things and you can see when somebody is just talking out of his mind and not yeah. out of his heart yeah. he can say the right thing here with his lips but is his heart in the right place and this is what the lord is talking to us this morning where is our heart really we, we i cannot tell you where is your heart in, uh, from some certain actions, I can say, okay, this is maybe where your heart is, but where is your heart really? Yeah. And this is what the Lord is talking about this morning. Yes, praise the Lord. Yes. Jy kan soms sien as die hart oopgebreek yes. en dan verstaan hy werkelijk. Yes. So ons loof en ons praise the Lord en ons wil jy aanmoedig, praat met ons, deel met ons en sorteer uit en al die dinge maak seker van jou ewige lewe, maak seker van jou bekering, Maak seker dat jy werkelijk tot wedergeboorte gekom het, wat is die motief in jou hart en al die dinge, soos wat jy dit in die licht bring, so breek jy die dinge oor hem heen. So kom het aan die licht en so kan jy vry en verlos kom, loof die heren. Ja, cause that faith that, uh, that cannot be seen is your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That spiritual rebirth. Amen. Amen. May you have a blessed day. Baie dankie dat jy na ons geluister het en mag jy een geseende dagje in die heren, loof die heren. Yes, I mean. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.